welcome back everybody I'm your host T70 bringing you guys in our YouTube video and uh, today we are gonna do the second part to the drift session my friend's doing an amazing burnout here in his GTO I'm gonna follow him real quick with his drone get a good shot doing some reverse things you can do a reverse you know J-turn or something all right, let's get back to him. Let's get back to him. Let's gonna, yeah, here we go. All right, cool. So I'm here in my 1970 Cheval, and Mariner is the 1969 Pontiac GTO, one of my personal favorites, of course. Pontiac, what do you know? What are you gonna say? Um, what can I say? You know, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great brand. It's a great brand. Um, yeah. So we're just drifting muscle cars. See if I can keep it with him. I want him to lead though. I need him to lead. Get a good shot. And so far so good. Okay, here we go. Get some serious, keeping that, keeping those the tire traction very minimal. You gotta keep that combo going. I think third gear is a sweet spot for this Cheval right now. It feels like it is. I'm, I'm just flooring it for third, cause I need as much speed as possible. But I don't think I have the gears uh, tuned on this. Ooh, almost hit him. Um, I don't think I have the gears tuned on this. Uh, I know that I have. I think I might have street tires. It feels like it's got street tires on on the, on the Chevelle. I don't think I have stock because if this was stock, I would be slipping a little a little better than what I what I'm currently doing right now. Because what I was doing in the Mustang was definitely a little bit better. Oh, you know, it was a little better in terms of angle. But I I'm pushing it. I'm pushing the Chevelle as far as it can go, and it's just not. Oh, it's working. It's working. I shouldn't say anything. It's working. It's working. Just gotta get that groove. I gotta really. Just gotta really push it. Perfect. I like that. I dig it. You're doing pretty good up there. If I can find but when I edit the video, I'm going to try to zoom in in the recording and try to get a better shot. Cause I'm hanging, I'm, I'm hanging too far behind him. So, um, but it's all good. All good. Try to get a drift session going here. This will be drift session number three or four. Kind of for the Mustang one. If I put it, if I make this video in one, I'll probably put it. I'll probably put it as three if it fits. Combine. You do some combinations. Make some longer gameplay here. Ooh Hope I can catch something epic in this. I really would like to have like a really epic moment. Right now, I'm really holding this combo, which I'm pretty happy about that. I'm holding, I'm holding this pretty sweet combo. I don't want to lose it now. I want to kind of bank it. Kind of stop for a second and bank this, this sweet, sweet combo before I lose it. I would hate to lose this combo. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I'm not gonna hit that car. No, I don't want to lose the combo. I think I okay for sure. Actually, I forgot. I might have changed the suspension on this because it, it doesn't have that that body roll that it had when it was stock, which I would actually prefer right about now. I would prefer. The Cheval's stock body roll just to just just to flick the weight a little bit more. That's what it needs. That's what it needs. The suspension's a little stiff. Um, it's okay, but I would prefer a little bit more weight transfer. Because right now it just feels feels really tracky. Like it feels like a track car more than it does feel like a drift car. And again, drift cars don't have to have like like heavy roll like suspension, but like 
that body roll suspension, but mm, nope, understeer. That's that's bad. <laughs> but I got the combo. Look at the combo. All right, let's see if I can see. What we're gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop at that one lap. Oh no, 260,190 for a combo. That's not too bad. Not my best combo. Uh, I think I have a combo where I probably hit 490,000. I think for a combo for a for a uh, for a drift combo. Um, that was with a uh, Holden GTE. I think GTE Holden. Uh, it's like basically I think the Australian Pontiac basically GTO the Australian version Whoa. oh yeah there we go oh no that's the tree oh wait did I get a wall tap on that no okay I was close I barely touched that tree though I don't think I even touched it but it looked like I touched the tree that's awesome Okay, I'm gonna stop the video at this. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome, I do say. If you guys uh, uh, enjoyed that video, uh, please like it, add it to your favorites, and please subscribe. We'll be making some more YouTube videos very soon. And if you are interested in joining the club, I will show you uh, Club T70, official YouTube club, official uh, uh, club for the Forza Horizon. So come and join, and I will definitely have a Forza session with you. Uh, send me a message, and uh, yeah, we will, we will definitely do some drifting or racing. Whatever you have in mind, I'll definitely make a video on it. All right, guys. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.